also isn't in the Bible. Wherever Jesus Christ is, there is the Catholic Church. Hey guys, it's Lizzie. So background to this video topic, I just started posting on TikTok. And so far, it's an amazing evangelization app. There are so many Protestants in the comment section of my videos, Protestants and Catholics going back and forth, discussing things, people asking me questions. We're dialoguing so much together and I never would have guessed that a 15 second video would create such an amazing conversation. If you wanna follow me there, my name is Lizzie Sanders, the same as my YouTube. So in my most recent TikTok, I was sharing biblical evidence for priests and purgatory. So one of the comments on the video from a Protestant said, where is the word Catholic in the Bible. The challenge behind that question is that if the Catholic Church claims that it is the original church and the biblical church, wouldn't you expect that the word Catholic would verbatim be in the Bible? Before I get into the response, I want to share etymology for 10 seconds. The Greek word Catholicos Catholic means universal. It comes from kata, which means according to, and holos, so Catholic church just means the universal church. So my response to the word Catholic not being in the Bible is that the word Trinity also isn't in the Bible. I'm confident that 99% of Protestants would argue that it is foolish to say because the word Trinity isn't in the Bible, therefore the theology of the Trinity isn't biblical or the theology of the Trinity wasn't believed in the early church. There is an overwhelming amount of Bible verses supporting the theology of the Trinity. Same exact thing with the word Catholic. There is an overwhelming amount of Bible verses proving that the theology of the current Catholic church is the same as the theology in the Bible, the teachings that Jesus and the apostles passed on and what the early church taught. If you're Protestant and you disagree with what I just said, it's because you have not studied the early church enough. Of all the writings that we have, the word Trinity is first used in the late second century by St. Theophilus of Antioch. In contrast, the word Catholic is first seen in the late first century in the writings of St. Ignatius of Antioch in the year 90 AD. It is in Ignatius's letter to the Smyrnaeans in chapter eight. Wherever the bishop shall appear, there let the multitude of the people also be. Just as wherever Jesus Christ is, there is the Catholic Church. What? I was shocked when I first read that in 2017. It definitely was one of the things that pushed me towards reading more into what the Catholic Church teaches. Saint Ignatius of Antioch was actually a disciple of the Apostle John. John literally taught Ignatius about the faith. So this quote is extremely compelling. In Acts 11.26, it says, It was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. So a few decades later, they are also calling themselves Catholics in Antioch. Disclaimer, it's really important to note when seeing the word Trinity and Catholic, just because that's the first time we're seeing it written down does not mean that was when it was invented, mainly because we're dealing with an oral culture. So a lot of things were not written down in the way that it would be today. Also, because this was so long ago, we've lost a lot of writing. So this does not mean that Theophilus and Ignatius, that's the first time Trinity and Catholic were written down. Common mistake people make when attacking Catholics, they say this theology isn't present until this century. And it's like, just because that's the only writing it's in doesn't mean they didn't believe it centuries before and doesn't mean that it was not written down in so many places, but those manuscripts have just not been preserved. So common Protestant rebuttal to Ignatius using the word Catholic in 90 AD, they will say this is Catholic lowercase c, not Catholic uppercase c talking about the Catholic Church. To answer this predicament, I have an entire video called 
when did the Catholic Church begin? In which I delve into this topic in so much depth. That video will be linked up here and in the video description. Also, another point is that Presbyterian, Baptist, Anglican, Lutheran, Methodist, Pentecostal, etc. are also not in the Bible. Those words are not verbatim anywhere in the New Testament. Shout out, there are a couple Protestant denominations that actually their church name is in the Bible. The church that I grew up in my entire life up until I was 23 is called Churches of Christ. And that was one of the things that I was so proud about that my denomination name was in the Bible. But obviously just because you have a certain name in the title, doesn't at all mean that your theology corresponds with the early church. Ignatius of Antioch was not alone in the early church of using the word Catholic to describe Christianity. I'm going to include some choice passages of other Christians in the early church writing about Christianity as the Catholic church. Pause the screen if you want to read them in depth. In the second century, we see the word Catholic in the martyrdom of Polycarp and the Muratorian canon. In the third century, Christianity is called the Catholic Church by Tertullian in his Against the Heretics and in a letter written by Saint Cyprian. Then in the early fourth century, the phrase Catholic Church is used in the Council of Nicaea. And then later on in the fourth century, the word Catholic becomes part of the creed. We're going to end by reading three writings of St. Augustine of Hippo in the 4th century. I always love including Augustine in videos like this because a lot of Protestants claim that Augustine's theology matches their Protestant church. We must hold to the Christian religion and to communication in her church, which is Catholic and which is called Catholic not only by her own members, but even by all her enemies. I would not believe in the gospel myself if the authority of the Catholic Church did not move me to do so. We believe in the Holy Church, that is, the Catholic Church, for heretics and schismatics call their own congregations churches, but heretics violate the faith itself by a false opinion about God. Schismatics, however, withdraw from fraternal love by hostile separations, although they believe the same things we do. Consequently, neither heretics nor schismatics belong to the Catholic Church. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Share in the comments your thoughts on the topic. Again, if you want to follow me on TikTok, my name is Lizzie's Answers, the same as my YouTube channel. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!